The Holland Grand National is next. Three miles and seven furlongs. 0 to 120. Dress Grain at the top. James Shea. Clava Laguna. Padre Hogan. Matador. Martin Lee have not completed the course in its last five runs. Infatuation. Paul Parsons. Trump. Spitfires. Matt Cooper. Window Rock. Peach. Vinnie Gerard. Garus. Padre Hogan. Suhail. Thinking for Derek Hinton. Ironical. Harold. Graham Clutterbuck. Penelope Pitstop, Martin Lidham, your golf travel com, Alex Cherry, Greenock Islander, Matt Cooper, and Burt Brand for Alex Cherry. A field of 13, called in and away. And your golf travel com is a usual front runner and might well have it out all his own way this time because there's not that many others that. Not to go on, and this is that course that's going to cause us problems, isn't it? Because you can see they are so ridiculously strong out after just one turn that Greenock Islander and Penelope Pitstop are virtually out of the race already. 25 lengths off the lead after they've jumped one fence. We'll forget about some of these courses until it comes up. I think this is the course as well where last year, oh, there's one particular race where half a field gets left at the start every season that must be all it's going to be today or tomorrow somewhere as it comes towards the end of the season everybody always, always forgets about it they're over the second now and your golf travel com has got a clear and easy lead of six lengths plava laguna is in second matador just getting around the course would be a success for that one in third then ironical harold i think graham clutter what we're saying the other week's been in his league team for years has only ever won one race but it was the Midlands Grand National I think so well capable of winning this if he's on a going day there's a gap of three lengths then to Suhail thinking the Derek Hinton great and yeah, there's one of my favourites Garus I just like saying that I don't know why as they get over the fourth and a bit of a mistake there by Dressed Grain James Shea has now dropped towards the back Penelope pit stop the that marker the field continues to be ridiculously strung out really for the amount of distance they've gone on the pace they're going as they get into this ditch imagine if we had a John Morgan horse in this we had a John Morgan horse in this to be two furlongs between the first and the last the Hugh Golf Travel Comp who's in front and steps out in the lead himself quite well and leads by five lengths to Plava Laguna and Matador Ironical Harold on the inside, then Suhail thinking. And Gadus and Trump Spitfires and Window Rock Peach. Gap of a couple of lengths then to Greenock Islander as they take the next. And then Penelope Pitstop made a mistake at the back, just in front of her infatuation, Burt Brand and Dress Grain. They're probably not quite so strong out now as they were early on, which would make you think the pace isn't all that hot. Over the water they go, past the big screen, two more circuits of the track to go. I'll take the water again next time and then the final time they won't. Your Golf Travel Comp, who leads by four to five lengths to Plava Laguna second. Ironical Harold, then Matador and Garus, with Suhar thinking just tucked in behind them. Trump Spitfires and Window Rock Peach, they get into the next. Bit of a mistake there by Suha thinking and also infatuation towards the rear. It was a little untidy. Young golf travel comp. Clear for Alex Cherry. And Plava Laguna. And Ronicle Harold and Garus. And Matador. And Trump Spitfires. Window Rock Peach on the inside rail. Suha thinking just dropped back a little bit. They take this ditch. All safely over that with Penelope Pitstop continuing to be the back marker. Over the 11th they go. All safely over it. New golf travel con for Alex Cherry. Clear in front there, well inside the final two miles now. Harold's moved through into third. Matador was the one who's dropped back in the pack. Well, at least he's still on his feet. They get over the next. 
the All Golf Travel Combo 5. Play the Laguna 2nd, ironical Harold 3rd. The 2nd of the Padre Hogan horses in the yellow and black is Garus. That one's 4th, and there's a 2 length gap to the green of Window Rock, Peter of Vinnie Gerard. Then the grey Matador is next with Trump's. Oh, the leader's gone. Your Golf Travel just didn't take off at all there. Virtually ran into the fence. And that's going to completely change the complexion of this race now because does Plava Laguna want to be in the lead? We shall see what will happen now. This field could well start to bunch up a little bit as they get into the 14th. Plava Laguna seems happy enough in front. Ironical Harris. Oh, Penelope Pitstop's gone at the back. Looks like that's what we'll see if Penelope Pitstop. She's going to be retired after today. Won't be back next season. They get over the 15th. And Darius knows that time was window rock peach but it's plava laguna if they come up past the stand see from the inside of the track this time round they'll skip over this water jump and then they'll head off for a complete circuit of the track and when they come back out of the buildings it'll be plava laguna who leads by two lengths to so ironical harold in second window rock peach is in third in garus is fourth then comes Trump, Spitfire's Matador and Dress Grain virtually in a line. Behind them, Greenock Islander. And Suhail thinking and infatuation in a couple of minutes back to Burt Brand at the back as they take the next. And the lead has gone again! Plava Laguna stood off that one and has crashed out. So, looks like you don't want to be in the lead in this race. And that's where Ironical Harold is at the moment. So, Ironical Harold is in front. Window Rock Peach has suddenly crept through in a second. Garus is third, Matador fourth. And they're inside the final mile now, and the whole complexion of this race has changed with those leaders falling because they're not strung out at all anymore. They're pretty tightly packed as they get into the 18th. And over that one, Window Rock Peach has jumped into the lead. Garus is second. Ironical Harold is third. Then Dress Grain on the inside. Matador, the two Matt Cooper horses, Wide Trump, Spitfires, and Greenock Islander. Infatuation trying to get going on the inside as well. There was a couple of mistakes there, but nothing's gone. Burt Brand is the one who's out of it, tailed off. Zuhail thinking he's trying to join the main pack, but there's only five furlongs to go and only a few more fences to get over. And Window Rock Peach with four to take is in the lead. Window Rock Peach from Garus. Ironical Harold. Harold. Look on the Derek Hinton horse on the outside in the pink. Sue Hoyle thinking. Looked to be struggling a minute ago. And there's now Burns through to come to challenge for the lead. They get over the fourth last. And Garus has just about gone on. But on the outside, Sue Hoyle thinking looks the big danger. Then Window Rock Peach. Ironical Harold is next. Then Dress Grain. Trump Spitfires and Matador after that. Greenock Islander and Infatuation. I think we can forget Burt Brand. They've got three to get over. And three furlongs to go. And Window Rock Peach and Garus come into this ditch in the lead. Over it they go. All the fields over and they're heading down towards the final two. And Window Rock Peach has now got a length or so clear from Garus and Suhail thinking. Dress Grain is in between them in fourth. Then Ironical Harold Matador trying to split fires an infatuation. This is the second last. And Window Rock Peach landed in the lead three or four clear. Looks to have this one probably in the bag if he jumps a last nicely. But the field has started to close into the final fence. They go and Window Rock Peach got over it okay. Dress Grain and Suhail thinking are trying to get closer. But they're racing now towards the line and it's half a foot on the go and Window Rock Peach is still in front here comes Dress Grain the top weight Window Rock Peach is hanging on Dress Grain's getting closer but Window Rock Peach is going to hold on and take it Dress Grain will be second then Garus and see while thinking Triumph Spitfires and Matador and all the way back to Greenock and we lost Burt Brand in the straight and Freddie Gerrard takes it with window, window Rock Peach looks to be going best of all for quite a lot of the race to be fair and took that one quite nicely from the top weight dressed grain second for James Shea Garus for Padre Gogan was third that one comes back next year Suhail thinking fourth for Derek Hinton and Trump Spitfires for Matt Cooper was fifth